hello friends welcome to youtube i hope you guys are doing absolutely great so in this video we are going to take a quick overview over the important javascript functions so let's get started so the first array function we are going to take a look at is the array.push method which basically inserts an item into the array so let's see let's just define an array with some random elements if we log this array to the console we'll see this is the array and now we want to insert an element in this array so we can use array dot push method and then specifying the element we want to insert so i want to insert 78 here and then print the array again and save the program we'll see initially the array is containing six element but when we used array.push the 78 is inserted at the end of the array similarly we have array.pop method which removes the element from the end of the array and returns the removed item so we can use this method as array.pop if i save the program initially you see there were six items into the array and when i used array.pop the five is removed from the list So the next array method we are going to see is array.shift. Array.shift is kind of like same to the array.pop. The difference is that array.shift removes the element from the beginning of the list and returns the new array. So if we use it array.shift, we'll see that initially our array was containing six items, but now in the new array, our four is removed from the list. So you can use this function when you want to remove the items from the beginning of the list you can use array.shift and if when you want to remove the item from the end of the list you can use array.pop so the next method we have is like array.splice which is used to create the sub array of the given array for example i want to create a new array from the given array from the third index so i can use a method as array dot splice and giving it the index from where we want to create the new array and it will return us the new array so i'll just store the new array in a variable called new array and log it to the console so you see we have a typo error here where this is not double a we have a single r here and you see the new array is created after the third index that is 9845. Array.concat is used to join the new array into the existing array. Let's just see it in our program. So we have this array defined here. So I'll just define a new array called AR2 with some random elements as And then I can use array.concat and specifying the array to be concatenated here and it will return the new array so I'll just store the new array into a variable called a and then log it to the console so you see the new array is created from the concatenation of a two arrays and in this manner you can concatenate two arrays The next important function we have is array.sort. So the array.sort method is used to sort the given elements of our array. So if we log the initial array to the console and then use array.sort method and then log the new array again to the console, we'll see initially array was having a random element and when we used array.sort method, they get sorted. So the array.sort method can also be used to sort the elements in a different manner. For that, we have to use a compare function which is passed as a parameter to this sort function. So we can just pass a compare function to this sort function here. So this is just the error function being passed. So this error function will basically receive the two element of an array to compare. and we can return the statement here so if we say a minus b so whatever the return statement we specify here if the result of a return statement is less than zero 
then a will be shifted to the place of b you can change this function to your own custom logic just remember that in the return if the value of compare is less than 0 the a will be shifted to b if it is greater than b will be shifted to a so a and b are basically our two corresponding elements of the array which we can use in our comparison function to define the logic for comparison and if we save the program and run you see now array has been sorted in ascending order so if we change this logic to b minus a and save the program now the output has been changed to the descending order because the result of b minus a will always be less than zero array dot reverse function is a kind of simple which reverse all the elements of an array so you see initially i have defined this array variable and if i use array dot reverse function you will see all the elements of the array get reversed so initially this was our array you can see four was at the starting and now in the next time it went to the end and three was at the end and it went to the starting the array dot for each is a kind of an iteration loop executed for the each item in an array and it will receive the three parameter called value index and array itself so i'll call it a as an array so value is the corresponding value so during the first iteration value will contain 4 and the index will contain 0 and the a will contain the whole array similarly i can just build the body of this function and do whatever you want to do here so i'll just log to the console value so that each value of array will be printed to the console so we have a syntax error here where we are using an error function but we have not defined the proper syntax so it needs to be like this and if you saved it you see 481743 so instead of value if i want to use index you will say 0 1 2 3 4 5 and I, each time if i use a it will print the whole array each time so you always have access to all these three properties so if i want to print the value and index i can just simply create a new object here and pass the value and index here if i save it you see value 4 index 0 array dot map is a very useful function which helps you to map the existing values of an array into a, some new values depending upon certain function so we can use it as array dot map and it also takes the input argument as a callback function so this callback function will be executed for the each item in a array dot map and it will have access to the value at each time so value at each time will refer to the each corresponding element so here we can just return the new value by the existing value is in a value and multiply this variable by 2 so that each element will be multiplied by the 2 in the array so it will return a new array with the new map value so i'll just store that new array to the a variable and then log it to the console to see the result so you see the new array is now containing each item multiplied by two. So 4 has become 8 and 8 has become 16 1 has become 2 and so on not include is used to check if that particular item exists in an array or not so if we use if condition if array dot includes and then specifying the given element which we are searching for for example if i am searching for 7 if it is found in the array it will lock to the console yes if not it will lock to the console no there's a syntax error if i save it you see 7 is in the array so it says yes so if i change this value to something 77 it will say no array dot filter is an important function in a javascript which helps you to filter the given array that is either remove certain items from the array so we'll just store the result in a new variable where the result will be from array dot filter 
and this also takes the input function as a callback function which will be executed for each item in an array where it will have value as a item and the index of the position and the array itself so i'll call it double a and we just want all the elements which are greater than five so i will say if value is greater than five return true else return false and then log it to the console so you see there are only two items which are greater than five that is eight and seven so here you can just implement any logic so if you want to keep that item you return true and if you want to remove that item return false so these were the some of the important functions in our javascript i hope you will find them useful and if you do do subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon and and please share your thoughts in the comment what you like or what you don't like about the video so that i can improve thank you for watching and have a nice day see you soon